It demonstrates how to configure and integrate Medved Trader with a broker after its installation. First, I'll start the program. The login requires Medved Trader account email and password. The first time I start Medved Trader, it brings up the startup wizard. I'll click Accept for the license agreement. Then select the default data feed I'd like to use. I'll select Tradier as a source, but as you can see, we support a lot of data sources. Next, I'll select the news feed. For this demo, I'll select Yahoo and Google. Next, I'll create an initial portfolio and hit Finish. First time I connect to Tradeyear brokerage account, a Tradeyear login box will come up. I have to log in to Tradeyear separately to get the Tradeyear data. Please note this login page comes from Tradeyear and the login information I type in goes directly to the broker. For security reasons, it is not sent to Medved Trader. I'll log in now and approve access to Medved Trader. In this case, granting Medved Trader access to my Tradeyear account information and market data. First time I connect to a, to a Tradier account, the program asks if I would like to configure my account for trading automatically. I recommend going through the automatic configuration. However, for the purposes of this demo, I'll click No and go through the manual configuration. To do it manually, select Settings or Configure Trading on the dashboard. Click Add and select Tradier from the list of supported brokers. Give the account a meaningful name. and click the Verify and Get Accounts button. The data feed and the trading account may require a different login, so the program will now ask me to log in to my Tradier account again. Now this account is configured for trading. I can make certain changes here, for example, give the account a nickname instead of just a number. I can also configure some custom settings for the account, such as a default quantity when a trade ticket is opened. For demo purposes, I'll set it to 2. I can also make changes to actions that are available on the trade ticket and the default order type time in force, and special instructions for the ticket. For example, I'll change the default time in force to GTC. I can also make some security adjustments for the account. Here, I can set how often the program will ask me to enter the password. Right now, it'll ask me once per session when I place a trade. Here I can specify a security pin, which can then be used in place of my Medved Trader or Broker password. Of course, in order to change the pin, I have to enter the Medved Trader account password. Now trading is configured. I will open the account view, then minimize the dashboard since I like more space on my screen. You can always get back to the dashboard options by either bringing it up from the Windows taskbar or by clicking on the multicolored button on the top right. Now let's lay out the various windows. I'll set up a portfolio on the upper left, trading windows, 
on the right and charts and other windows on the rest of the screen. I tend to like darker colors, so I'll change the portfolio colors to night. At this time, I don't need the ribbon menu, so I'll click on the, on the Hide Ribbon button. Note, instead of hiding the ribbon, you have a choice of minimizing it by double-clicking on the tabs. Now I'll open some charts. One intraday chart, one raw data window, which is basically time and sales, At this time, I don't need the date column, so I'll remove that. And I'll change the color to night here as well. And hide the ribbon menu. And I'll open the historical chart for the same symbol. Notice I'm doing this by right-clicking on the window. There are right-click menus on all the windows, and there is a very consistent look to these menus. You can right-click on the raw data window, a chart window, or a portfolio window symbol. When you hide the ribbon on a window, you can make some of its functions show up in the Quick Access Toolbar, or QAT for short, which shows in the upper left of the window. Let's say I want the indicators button to show up there. I right click on the button and add it to the quick access toolbar. Now I can hide the, the ribbon menu. For trading, I'll set up the balances, positions, and trade and transaction windows separately. Instead of doing it from the ribbon menu, I'll just add the buttons to the QAT and then use those to open the new windows and resize them to fit. As you can see, I'm opening the multiple account view windows and just making them show different information on each one. For positions, I'll go to the ribbon menu to make it show closed positions as well as pending positions. And now I'll open the trade ticket. To add indicators on the charts, I click the indicator button that I previously placed in the QAT, or just uh, I can get to it from the right-click menu. Now I can add the Bollinger Bands and MACD. As you can see, there were quite a few indicators available. I can change the indicator parameters at any time by just clicking on the indicator legend. And making some changes. I'll make the Bollinger Bands use the EMA. And I'll set the period for the indicator to 30. Note that any changes that I make in the parameters are immediately shown on the chart. On the historical chart, I'll, uh, I'll add the Ichimoku cloud.
and zoom in so I can see it nicely. Now, I would like to show you how to link the windows so when I change the symbol in the portfolio or one of the other windows, all windows will change to that symbol. To do that, just click on the, click on the link button. You can have several different groups of linked windows with different colors. I'll use a default blue here. So right now, when I click on a symbol in the portfolio, it changes the symbol on all the linked windows. I can also easily change the symbol on the chart by just typing on the chart. So right now, I have focus on this intraday chart. I just type FB and hit Enter. And the chart switches to FB symbol. And because this is a linked window, the symbol changes on it to FB on all the linked windows. If you remember, I configured news sources during the initial wizard setup. While I was talking, some news stories have come in. You can see it because there's a little light bulb showing next to the symbols in the portfolio. The newer the news, the brighter the, 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 brighter the bulbs. If I click on the light bulb, it will open a news window for that symbol and the light bulb will disappear to show me that I saw the news. If more news will come in, the light bulb will appear again. If I click on a different symbol in the news window, its stories will show up. Now, let me show you how Medved Trader allows you to trade directly from charts. I'll close the other windows to give me more room to work with. And I'll remove the volume indicator. Just go to the legend, right click and select delete. Now I'll open the ribbon and go to the Trading tab and select Enable Chart Trading. Notice that the trading account I earlier configured is shown here. I'll change the default quantity to 1 for demo purposes. Remember that I selected GTC earlier as a default time and force. I'll make it show me the positions on the chart and adjust the chart scale so that the position is always shown. Let me just add the buy and sell buttons to the QAT so I can get to them without the ribbon. And we'll hide the ribbon. Now I'm ready to trade. Let's say I'd like to place an order, a buy order. I can just click the buy button and move the mouse on the chart. It's dragging the crosshair with a buy capsule on it, showing the buy price of the order. I click on the chart in order to drop the order capsule on it at the particular price. Note the yellow color. That indicates that the order is not placed yet. As you can see on the right, it's not shown in the transactions window. Right now, I can click on the Transmit checkmark button to send the order in, or I can modify it before sending. I can change the order by right-clicking on the capsule and change the order type, time and force, or special instructions. For example, I'll change it to a day order. If I double click on the quantity in the capsule, I can change it to two shares. And now I'll submit it.
the program will prompt me to confirm. If you do not want the confirmations, you can turn them off. If you remember, I set up the trading security to ask for the password once a session. So now it asks for that password. I'll enter the PIN that I set up earlier. As you can see, it turned, it turned green as a buy order. The sell order, it would turn red. Notice on the right, the new open order shows up in the transactions window. Since I checked the option to show pending positions during setup, it also shows in the positions windows a pending position with an open order. Now let's say I want to modify the order by changing its limit price. I can just drag the, the order capsule on the chart to the new price level. And click confirm to modif uh, confirm modify button. And it modifies the order. I can see the new modify order reflected in the windows on the right as well. Since this order is below the current price, it'll sit there for a while. Let's see what happens when the order executes. I'll move the capsule so that the limit price is above the current price so that the order will execute right away. And hit, I move it and now I hit modify. It immediately filled and shows as filled. The order capsule will disappear and a new position shows on the chart in blue. It also shows in the position window on the right. Now let's say I want to close this position. I can either select a cell button in the QAT or right click and choose cell. Or I can just click on the close button on the position capsule. Once I do, I can drag the order to the price at which I'd like to sell and, and click to drop the trade there. and click the transmit button. I immediately see the sell order. Now while the transaction is pending, I can make changes to it either on the chart or in the transactions window. Let's say I want to change the price. In the transaction window, I double click on the transaction and change the price by increasing it and submit. And it changes both on the chart and in, in the transactions order. Uh, on the chart, right, in the transaction window. If I want to cancel the order, I can just hit the cancel button either on the transactions window or on the, the transaction capsule. And it's canceled. Now let's play the place a close order. Click on the close button on the position capsule. Let's say, I, let's say I want to make it a market order. Note that it shows me the market order at the current price and moves it with the current price. Now I'll hit transmit. And it was filled. On the right, you see the order history. And that concludes the demo. As you can see, MedvedTrader provides great charting and very convenient and intuitive interface to your broker. Happy trading.